The Senator from Middlesex and Norfolk, Ms. Spilka. The Senator from Worcester, Ms. Chandler. The Senator from Suffolk, Ms. Chang Diaz. The Senator from Hampshire, Franklin, and Worcester, Ms. Comerford. The Senator from Middlesex and Norfolk, Ms. Cream. The Senator from Essex, Ms. Desaglio. The Senator from Middlesex, Ms. Friedman. The Senator from Worcester, Hampton, Hampshire, and Middlesex, Ms. Gobi. The Senator from Middlesex, Ms. Jalen. The Senator from Essex, Ms. Lovely. The Senator from Plymouth and Barnstable, Ms. Moran. And the Senator from Norfolk, Bristol, and Middlesex, Ms. Rausch. Move that when the Senate adjourns today, it do, so, it do so in memory of Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Just a few days after our Commonwealth began mourning the loss of one architect of justice, Chief Justice Ralph Gantz, our country is now confronting the enormous loss of Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Ruth Bader Ginsburg was a familiar face to the Supreme Court long before she joined it as a justice. She began her career most famously as an advocate for gender equality, volunteering to litigate cases where standards had been set by law differently for women and men. As a lawyer, her sharp attention to detail and clarity in thought clearly exposed incidents of legal discrimination and successfully changed how the law was implemented. As an advocate, Justice Ginsburg effused compassion and reminded us that rigid laws tied to social expectations, telling us who we're supposed to be, constrict not just some of us, but all of us. More than any other figure in American legal history, Ruth Bader Ginsburg brought the 14th Amendment's guarantee of equal protection under the law into Americans' daily lives. As a justice on the highest court in the land, Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg continued to apply a close reading of the law towards serving all Americans. Her decision shaped how our laws cover workplace discrimination, mental and behavioral health care, voting rights, gender identity, college admissions for women and people of color, Native American sovereignty, and gay marriage. When our Commonwealth, Massachusetts, sued the EPA to demand that the agency do its job by regulating carbon dioxide, Ruth Bader Ginsburg sided with us, putting climate change on the political map for the first time. While she wasn't always in the majority on every decision, Justice Ginsburg knew that giving voice to the voiceless in a powerfully written dissent can spur lasting change. As was the case in her dissent in Ledbetter v. Goodyear, which inspired legislation to empower victims of pay discrimination to speak up. Justice Ginsburg believed that courts could not create social change but were tasked with responding to it. And she was proud of her role as a champion for equality. In that role, she loomed large in the public imagination as a fierce defender of civil rights and the highest ideals of America. Justice Ginsburg once told a crowd of new Americans that, quote, we are a nation made strong by people like you, unquote. Our nation was made stronger by Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, too and she will be remembered throughout history as a singular American presence and an inspiration to many. The legacy of her life's work will outlast all of us. We are grateful to have lived in an America served so expertly by Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. May her memory be a blessing, and may the Senate now observe a moment of silence in memory of Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg.